you guys. This is a Young Adult Diaries video. Literally just like days in my life. I just finished writing my 2022 goals for this year. Uh, I didn't do a finishing my 2021 goals video this year because I actually finished most of them, hey? Like, it's actually quite insane that, yeah, I just didn't achieve two of them. Like, look at all the ticks. The two I didn't achieve was read 10 books. I haven't even read one. And then have a thousand subscribers. I am just outside enjoying the breeze. It's really pretty outside today. My hair actually—it's like a poopy emoji on my head. So I decided that this year I'm gonna start journaling again because you see I journaled ever since I was like 10 years old, like almost every day. I don't know. In my first year of university, so when I was 20, was the last time that I journaled because I started prayer journaling. It helps. Like I will journal my prayers and my thoughts while I have my quiet time. I don't know, I just feel inspired to start journaling as well as prayer journaling. So like I have my prayer journal where I write down my prayers um, and like, and then also have a normal journal where I just write down like the random thoughts. The last few entries in my journal was not good entries. <laughs> I come a long way. Let's start a new journal that has a more positive mindset. was gymming for an extra like half an hour so I decided to lay by the pool got a nice tan on my legs we have three really ripe bananas and you know what that means it's nana bread time It's broken. We are going out for a drink and dancing. So this is me, this is the Faith, this is Aurora. We are currently at the strawberry farm and just with a whole bunch of friends, it's gonna be so awesome. Route 44! Yay!
this is an orange and pomegranate and this is a whole lot of samosas and this is Grant and this is Ethan <laughs> Good morning, every guys. Today is Sunday. I'm also busy cleaning the strawberries. They're like sh picked straight from the farm. So I'm just cleaning them. So I see like insects and everything lived on them. Yeah. Uh, and you also are supposed to sprinkle like salt over it and it takes all the, you see. Already come off. There's already another bug there. So yeah, just rinsing and cleaning the strawberries. Okay, so what I did was, this entire bowl was like full of strawberries. Look at all that dirt. But that's the best part about getting organic strawberries, that you know it's fresh. But the worst part is that they go off quite quickly. Like, look at that. Anyway. So what I did was I, the ones that are going funny, I put in a bag. So these are for smoothies, future smoothies. The ones that are still good, I put in here. Those are probably destroyed now. So that needs to go in the smoothie bag. <laughs> uh, and then I cut up some because I'm going to make strawberry muffins now. Let's start baking the strawberry muffins. Alright, so I am now making Sunday lunch. Um, I'm thinking a salad with some roast sweet potato, normal potato, and some roast chicken. Sunday lunch, simple salad. My roast chicken and potato bake and snickers. Achievement perspective, I'm really standing here by the grace of God. Hey, big guys, it's Monday. The weekend is over, and as you saw, it was a really good one. But yeah, back to normal life now. And. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to y'all while I take down my washing. Just chat, you know? A lot of people that I've spoken to in the last like few days actually, they've all asked the same question. How's married life? I'm going to say how it is. Can I just say, it literally feels like I'm on holiday. Like that's how it feels, you know? It, it, this place doesn't feel like my own, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's just crazy. <laughs> I've had like my clothes and stuff in so many different places for the last like five years. I've been living out of a suitcase. So to actually be stable in a place, it's amazing. It feels so good. <laughs> so yeah, it really is so cool. I'm enjoying it very much but like it's really nice to have that idea that like oh you're my husband you know and I own you and I can order you around <laughs> comment down below what you did for New Year's I'd love to know actually because some of the people that I have spoken to said that they didn't do anything for New Year's they just like stayed at home and chilled because like that's exactly what I did for New Year's my husband and I they were just we went for lunch and he made dinner which was really nice <laughs> and then when 12 o'clock hit we watched the fireworks because we can see it from our balcony and that's that that was that was new year's <laughs> Thank you. 
and bon appetit. It's miso soup. Hey, every guys, I am getting my lashes done. They're done. I didn't get the same as I got last time because the price was raised, so I was like, I cannot afford that. So I got the more affordable one and it's a nice in-between i am breaking out because the only reason i break out is because i either have too much dairy or too much sugar and best believe i've eaten my weight in sugar this entire festive season hey every guys so i just got back from the shops and i bought two really cute things long sleeve shirt it's cropped as you can see but it's like, oh, it's so comfy and it's so warm and cute. And the second thing I got was this black skirt. It's so comfy. It's got a little slit over here. It was a bit of a splurge, I'm not gonna lie. But my other black skirt broke, which I used for about seven years. Is it? No longer. I've had it since I was 13. To seven nine years i've i've used my other black skirt for nine years because i'm definitely going to use this for another nine years i have one more fun thing to show you I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you for spending the like, these few days in my life with me. And yeah, it's life is good, man. Life is good. So grateful to God and to my friends and to my family. Like and subscribe, it really supports my channel and I really love you. Anyways, stay authentic, stay kind. He loves you and so do I. Bye!